Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new episode of Online Lessons. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we are going to look at Database Part 3, Workout Examples. So, for the first question, we are going to look at uh, a, a question from May-June 2015, Paper 2-1, question number 7. A database property was set up to show the prices of properties for sale and the features of each property part of the database is shown below so we have a uh, property type brochure number of bedrooms uh, number of bathrooms garden garage uh, price in a dollar all of these are the field names and we have a list of rows which are which corresponds to the number of records First question, uh, give the number of fields that are in each record. So the number of fields should be the number of columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the number of fields should be 7 fields. State which field you would choose for the primary key. Give a reason for choosing this field. So going back uh, to the table, we can see that we have uh, seven fields, but the only field which has a unique value is the brochure number. So the brochure number should be used as the primary key since it uniquely identifies each property. So brochure number since it uniquely identifies each property. And the last one, state the data type of uh, the following fields. So we have three fields that we need to look at. It's garage, number of bedrooms, and price in dollar. So the answer will be garage as bullion, number of bedroom as number, and price in dollar as currency. Part D, the query by example grid below selects all houses with more than one bathroom and more than two bedrooms show what would be the output now let's look at this query by example properly so we can see that the just show criteria is unchecked for property type number of bedrooms and number of bathroom it is only checked in price in dollar and brochure number these two fields will be the only values that we're going to output it should also be noted that the price should be in ascending order. The price should be in ascending order for the criteria that the property type should be a house, the number of bedrooms should be two, and the number of bathrooms should be greater than one. Coming back to our table, so we are going to see where this criteria fits. First part, so the property type should be house. We have four houses in our table. The number of bedrooms should be greater than two. This satisfy H10, H23 and H30. So from uh, four houses, we are now down to two houses, H10, H13, and H23. And we have said that the number of bathrooms should be greater than two. So only two houses satisfy the criteria, H10 and H13. We have to display these two values and the pricing number. Uh, and the price should be in ascending order. So the first data that we have to output is 399,000 H13 followed by 450,000 H10. So as you can see the value 399,000 H13 followed by 450,000 H10 is the answer for this particular query by example. 
Next part, complete the query by example grid uh, to select and show the brochure number, property type and price of all properties with the garage below $200,000. So we had to create a query by example to show the brochure number and uh, brochure number, the property type and price for all properties with the garage. So the garage should be the condition and the price is the second condition that is the price should be below than $200,000 so here is how the answer should be so we have the property type, the garage, the price and the brochure number so we have the display the property type, the price and the brochure number the garage as criteria should be yes and the property price should be less than $200,000 in this question given that the property should have a garage and should be less than 200 200,000 the criteria is on the same line because it's an and condition next question May June 2016 paper 2 1 question number 6 so here we have a database staff phone was set up to show the telephone extension numbers for members of staff working in a department store. So the first question was explain why none of the fields in the database can be used as a primary key. So coming back here we can see that we have uh, fields which have non-unique values. You can see that Jane Smith is repeated, Doe is repeated, 129 repeated. So we have non-unique values in this table. So why none of the fields in the database can be used as a primary key? None of the fields have unique entries. State a field that could be used as a primary key. So a very easy one should be staff ID. Why? Because it uniquely identifies each member of staff. Next part, use the query by example to provide a list of all members of staff in alphabetical order, this is very important, grouped by department. So alpha, alphabetical order grouped by department. So both, uh, we have to give a list of staff members in ascending order and uh, the department also should be sorted out in ascending or descending depending on what you want. But here we have to make it simple, we are going to make both the staff members and the department in ascending order. So we have the department name and the name of the staff. Both should be in ascending and both should be shown. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, please subscribe. Click on the thumbs up and leave a comment to describe how the channel can be improved. Until then, see you guys next time.